Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. As you see here, got the coffee cup on the bench. Got two trucks and some servos sitting here on the bench. I bet you guys are wondering what's going on, what this video is going to be about. Well, Big Clue servos, TRX4, Traxxas, electronic problems. Can you imagine that? Uh, so anyway, I woke up this morning. I was like, I got to tell everybody kind of what I walked into or what I kind of discovered and what I found. Uh, like I said on my channel here, I don't like to complain about something unless I got a solution. Uh, this truck here, the TRX4, was built uh, out of the kit uh, from Traxxas that they built. Uh, so all the electronics and everything were supplied. Uh, I, I ran a couple batteries through this truck after I first built it, maybe two or three runs. Then I went to the Adirondack Mountains, all excited. It was in crawler country, trails everywhere, and all kinds of things to climb on in the woods, uh, in the mountains, and uh, throw a battery in. I go 100 yards down a trail, and servo goes. Uh, no noise, no warning, nothing acting funny, just literally stop turning. As fast as it turned on, it turned off and stopped working. And like I said, you know, no symptoms no signs no you know whining no gears grind nothing so uh once i got back from vacation called traxxas uh, i have to give them credit uh, i have before if you haven't seen it uh on my uh channel here on bruce fallon uh called them up no problems on its way they sent me the wrong one they sent me just a 25 or 2075 uh servo uh this one's actually uh Let's see if I get this to focus. A 2075X. So I called them back up said, hey, he sent me the wrong servo. Uh, and uh, you want me to send it back? Nope, don't worry about it. Keep it. And uh, we'll send you another one. So I got the brand new one in. Uh, I've done a, another couple sets of batteries. And, you know, the God's honest truth. You know, uh, I might have 10 to 12 set. you know, batteries ran through this trx4 and my son and i uh is another video on my channel there they uh installing the uh, hyrex tires and trying them out we were uh made the video uh my son wanted to continue to play on our indoor uh crawler course we got going on here and uh i had both of my sons down with me. My other son was running in the Red Cat there, trying to go across the bridge and having problems. So I was helping him out. He's four. And uh, next thing you know, my other son comes over. Hey, Dad, there's something wrong. The truck won't turn. He said, oh, no. Well, you know, my boys are kind of rough on something. What's going on now? And uh, again, just nothing. No sound, no nothing. Truck was going good one minute, and he said, just stop turning. So now I've gone in, a, you know, 10 to 12 sets of batteries, maybe, and that's probably pushing it. Not that I was, you know, uh, fully keeping track there of exactly how many batteries, but it, it hasn't been many. Uh, I'm through two servos again. So I started thinking, I went on the forums, and I said, uh, you know, uh, the group chats and, uh, you know, all the crawler forums and stuff like that, and said, hey, guys, anyone had this problem? And the majority of the response was, Traxxas, the 2075X is junk. Throw it out. Don't go get another one. Uh, yeah, everybody uh, had a suggestion, of course. Uh, you know, get a Savox. You know, get, uh, you know, all, all the different servos. You name it, pretty much every servo was named. But I was sitting there thinking, you know, I just built this truck. You know, the truck kit was, you know, it, it's 400 and change. Uh, electronics applied. I've had the servo go. I've had it replaced again. And now here I am. Now I got to go spend more money. After I just spent 400 and change on a kit to build a truck. Just put tires on it. Bought a winch for the truck. And now here I am. I can't turn my truck. I got to spend more money. Now, I'm sure the majority of us out there are not uh, wallet heavy, 
have families, got to work full-time jobs. This is a hobby, a very expensive hobby, and we just don't have money laying around to keep throwing out uh, money on parts. So I was out there started thinking. About a year ago, on my Red Cat here, I had a servo problem, and uh, I actually I shouldn't say a problem. Just the servo was wasn't really strong in it. So I went on online. I went on Amazon, typed in you know RC servo, and I saw this servo pop up. Twenty kilogram, aluminum body, metal geared, uh, waterproof. Uh, you know all the exact specs on it. Uh, you, you can get it off of uh, Amazon when you type it in, but. Uh, a servo popped up, $18. You know, what do I got to lose? Let's try it out. So I bought a combo pack of two. I have ran one in my RC buggy up on the shelf there. And I am a horrible driver when it comes to high speeds, come to find out. And I bashed that around for a year. No problems. I have the servo here, so I have the Red Cat out. Get a picture of it for you. And uh, I've ran this servo now in the Red Cat with my boys beating the living hell out of this thing uh, for over a year. Several, several batteries. Um, and zero problems. I uh, just want to say quick too before I forget. This servo, they have it in different ways online. There, I found them. Uh, you can buy them in a combo pack of two for you know thirty something dollars, and they come with the servo metals or uh, the aluminum servo horn and hardware. Um, okay, no, I didn't forget that. So, uh, I've been running it for over a year, no problems. So, uh, the servo's strong. It responds. It's got uh, you know it's fast strong and uh zero problems and uh, so i've been sitting there thinking he's like you know i've been running this servo in my red cat for over a year and i've had zero problems here's this truck a couple months old and i've gone through two servo problems i'm tired of spending money on my rc stuff on things i've already bought that shouldn't have to be rebuying yes i know what you're saying these were under warranty but i don't have time to go spend more money and then to turn around and go, well, now here's my truck broke again. Hey, Traxxas, can you send me another one? I want to play with my RC car, especially when I spend all this money. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go buy another one of those servos. And actually, I did. What I did was, is the original servo that was in my Red Cat here, I took it out, installed it in this, because I was trying to do uh, some videos on my upgrades and my tires, my winch, and I wanted to use my truck. You know, this is my favorite truck right now. So I wanted to have it up. So I installed that one. So the one that I've had in the Red Cat for over a year is now installed in my Traxxas. And we're going to come back later in a couple months or whatever you know time frame. Think about it again. We'll come back and see if it's still working. But I just wanted to put it out there. Instead of spending another $40, $60, $90, $100, $200. You understand what I'm trying to say. You can get crazy on a, on a servo. I don't want to spend that money on a servo. So I got this servo here. Uh, like I said, off of Amazon. 20 kilogram. First, uh, $18. Shipped to the house, Prime. Next day, there it was. Uh, for that price, guys, you cannot beat the price of that servo. And like I said, I've had it in the Red Cat now. Tons of batteries run through it. Nephews. Uh, my children have beat the living hell out of this truck. I've had a video and review on this truck on uh, on my channel. I talk about it. And no joke, for real, I'm not backed by anyone. I'm not sponsored, anything. I don't get paid. I'm a working class guy. Uh, $18 servo, and this thing is last, and it works. Uh, I'm not one of those guys that needs a $200 servo in there. You know, I'm not going to notice the difference. I just want to use my truck and have fun. Uh, so... Like I said, I just wanted to put it out there so people know. Um, there is a ser solution out there. And I have had zero problems with this servo in over a year. With ton of usage. Outside, in the mud, in the water, and no problems. And 
two uh, young boys and my daughter using it and having no problems. Uh, then when you go on to Amazon, you can type in RC Servo, and this is what comes up. Uh, it'll pop up. It comes up under a couple different names. Uh, I think the major one is like uh, the name of Animos, all made in China. Like I said, I've seen it in several different names. Um, you'll recognize it with the picture there, and they come with the uh, servo aluminum servo horn. So, guys, uh, think about it. Check it out. Got servo problems, don't want to spend a bunch of money. What do you got to lose for $18? Give it a try. If it does break on you, it doesn't work, it, you only lost $18, not a bunch of money. Because I've had high-end servos, they break just as much as the cheap ones that come in these R to R kits. So, like I said, for $18, give it a try. What do you have to lose? A couple extra pennies in your pocket to spend somewhere else on your uh crawlers or your rc cars uh to do other upgrades that you want to do instead of you know doing the same thing over and over again uh because of the rr kits or these cheap servos coming around that uh or junk servos should i say coming around that don't work i found a cheap one like i said you're not paying an arm and a leg for it and it works 18 dollars on amazon all right guys i hope you liked it uh, I just wanted to get that out to you guys and uh, share that with you. And that's my solution to that problem. Please click the like button and hit the subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.